Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my gluten-free scallop potatoes. These are so cheesy with crunchy bits of cheddar on top. Oh my gosh, if you love cheesy potatoes, you've got to make these. They're so simple. Let's get into it. So I'm starting by making a roux and I always start my roux with, well, some form of fat, in this case butter and cornstarch. I find that cornstarch works really, really well for any of the roux I've made and I've made several videos doing this exact same thing. I will leave links for those above. So we add in the cornstarch and whisk and then I'm adding in my um, seasonings which is salt and pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And I'm going to whisk constantly while I'm adding in this milk a little bit at a time so we get a nice smooth sauce. If you add it in all at once you may get lumps. And after that I'm adding in a little bit of heavy cream as well. And we just whisk this over medium high heat until it thickens and I like to tell by uh, if it coats the back of a spoon. So if I'm running my finger through it and it coats it just like that, it's done. Now at this point, I'm adding in a quarter of the shredded cheddar cheese called for in the recipe because we're gonna use that, the rest of the cheddar to layer it. And I would also be adding um, my cubed Velveeta cheese, but I forgot at this point in the video, but this is where you would add it in and let it melt in. So you'll see me add it later in the video. So onto the potatoes, I'm using russet or Idaho potatoes, and I'm just using a mandolin to slice them really thin to, it's about an eighth of an inch thick. They're pretty thin because I don't know if you've noticed sometimes Potatoes take a long time to cook when they're in like a sauce like this and I do not like crunching into a potato that's supposed to be nice and soft. So what I'm doing is I'm layering the bottom with like two layers of potatoes and then I'm adding my sauce which at this point sh should have the uh, Velveeta in it. So just remember that. And then what I would normally do is put a layer of cheddar, shredded cheddar over top of this and then just keep layering like that. But since I forgot the Velveeta, I, it kind of screwed everything else up right after that. So you won't have this same problem though. <laughs> so we start now, once we've got that Velveeta in, layer your second layer of uh, potatoes and then add the sauce with the Velveeta in it and then add the shredded cheddar on top and then you go again with your third and final layer of potatoes. Now what I like to do after I put the potatoes on the third and final layer I like to take my hands and just press down on it just to get it nice and compact in there. And then once I'm finished layering I cover it tightly with aluminum foil, get it into a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes, uncover another 30 minutes or until it is tender when you stick a butter knife or a fork through there and the potatoes are tender. Look at this, you guys. It is nice and cheesy. I mean, look at all that cheese oozing out everywhere. This is definitely for the cheese lover in you. <laughs> it is perfect as a side dish for Easter or any holiday. So enjoy. 